PNB Gills is the only listed primary dealer in the country. Vikas Koel, MD and CEO of PNB Gills, is with us today. There are a range of issues that we will discuss uh, related to financial markets, from index inclusion to green bonds and the monetary policy review of RBI, which will be announced on Friday. Uh, Mr. Goel, welcome to the show. Thank you, Manujit. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, so let me start with the monetary policy. Uh, while it is almost certain that there will be a status quo on the policy rates, uh, but do you think uh, time has come to change the stance uh, to neutral? Yes, that uh, high time uh, reserve bank became data dependent and established a glide path. So uh, going to neutral does not mean that uh, uh, you know you are going to cut rates. It just means that you are data dependent and depending upon data, you can either hike or drop rates. So right now the stance is only of hiking. Uh, while yes, uh, last couple of months, uh, uh, August, uh, July and August inflation numbers were high because of uh, uh, food prices more or less and somewhat uh, energy, basically the volatile component, core has been studied to coming down and it's in a, not in a comfortable zone but uh, still it uh, is trending down, it has uh, been uh, sticky at 5 and it has been trending down now. So, uh, given that core is uh, trending down a bit and uh, the uh, volatile portion is what was contributing to high headline uh, and that hopefully will now no longer be an issue, at least the food part, monsoon being more or less normal. Uh, so, the food part of it, the food inflation part of it, I think is uh, uh, maybe addressed or mitigated. Uh, Energy obviously is another uh, 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 question altogether. Uh, with OPEC uh, now, given that uh, pr uh, prices again, uh, though they were rising and they have come off uh, in the last couple of days, uh, so how will OPEC react? Will they continue beyond December their production cuts? Uh, that is uh, yet to be seen, but. I think that energy prices play a limited role given that uh, in the inflation number, given that uh, there is no uh, change in prices uh, at the pump level, local prices. Uh, so overall, I think inflation now and the forecast now for this month at, uh, for September print, I think is in a comfortable zone anywhere between uh, uh, 480 to 525, 540. So maybe about uh, five quarter. So while still above the target of four, it is within the range of two to six. And it looks like uh, the high prints are behind us and uh, the prints will come within the range. Given this background, I think uh, a light path needs to be established. Therefore, a change in stance may be warranted in this case. Now, uh, uh, we have seen an uptick in the swap rates. Uh, is it only because of the U.S. Uh, bond deals or there is an outside chance that there could be one more hike by the RBI given the recent inflation trends? If you strictly go by uh, where the swap rates are, uh, there is an indication of a hike, but I feel it is more to do with uh, the persistence of tight liquidity with fixings coming in at uh, anywhere between 680 and 690. Uh, so it is more to do with uh, uh, the carry of a position or the fixings itself, the tight liquidity rather than a swap market indicating a hike. So I do not think at the present moment that swap rates uh, are uh, 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 indicating uh, a hike. I think they are more focused on where the fixings are coming given the tight liquidity, which has persisted for a long time and looks like uh, persisting, uh, uh, you know, going forward. If you look at five-year swap rate at about uh, 680, 85, I, it definitely does not indicate a uh, hike anywhere soon, right? Uh, one to two years, uh, uh, one year is above seven. Uh, that might uh, indicate uh, a hike, but uh, you anyways have, for the time being, a hike by stealth given that fixings are coming at 685. So that's beyond the uh, uh, 
MSF uh, uh, range of 675 also. So that is what I think uh, the uh, OIS market is discounting. Uh, essentially tight liquidity for a much longer time rather than high thin rates. Government bond market is reflecting higher yields. That is why there has been a sell-off. However, given limited foreign participation, the sell-off is muted as compared to other emerging markets. But the fact remains, yes, if the US goes up by uh, 20, 30 or whatever, uh, in absence of any domestic guidance, then uh, Indian markets will obviously look for proxies and react. I mean, that's a global phenomenon. Our uh, reaction is much more muted. The H2 borrowing calendar, which was announced last week, uh, the gross borrowing figure is about six and a half uh, trillion rupees, but around 2.8 trillion of government bonds are maturing in March to, by March 2024. A bulk of it is in the third quarter, uh, which makes the net borrowing number uh, much less than even four four trillion rupees. Uh, do you expect, given these circumstances, do you expect in rally in bond prices? So, as I said earlier, uh, a lot depends upon uh, Reserve Bank and liquidity, but I feel that a light path is there now for yields to uh, maybe not trend lower, but definitely stop going higher. The correlation uh, between uh, uh, Indian uh, bonds and US Treasury, I think, will start uh, uh, reducing as we go along. And we focus on the fact that uh, uh, that the absolute amount of supply is less. Uh, so uh, that correlation will start uh, unwinding. And uh, along with, the, like I said, inflation also trending down. I think uh, we will see yields, uh, if not coming down, but definitely not going down. So the liquidity is, is will be the most guiding factor so far as yields are concerned. Uh, Market believes, generally speaking, that uh, Reserve Bank on the rates front, uh, we have seen the peak on repo rates. So it is all about liquidity right now and uh, what uh, happens with liquidity. And uh, obviously, supply is a consideration. Uh, if you see in the borrowing program, uh, tenure is uh, the supply slightly higher uh, uh, and 14 years lower and a new 50 year has been introduced. Now, the government announced a green bond auction for the second year in a row now. Uh, do you expect a greenium on these bonds for this year? Look, uh, globally, if you go globally, I mean, there are funds which are dedicated, to, which are socially responsible funds, which invest in uh, uh, such issuance. We do not have natural buyers of uh, these bonds who, who prefer to buy these bonds uh, domestically. And there is no, uh, I mean, no economic reason for me to pay a premium to buy these bonds. Therefore, I do not expect uh, a substantial premium. Having said that, uh, obviously, uh, uh, it's an issuance by uh, by uh, government of India, and given uh, this index inclusion, there'll be a new set of investors looking at potentially looking at India. So there might uh, be some amount of uh, uh, you know, uh, premium which may, may come through. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, last year when the issuance happened, there was about, uh, I think, about a 10 basis points, 5 or 10 basis points premium. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> um, globally also, uh, the market, it's a new market, relatively less than a decade old. So the premiums which used to be there no longer exist globally. And so India also, it will be difficult to attain a 10. So maybe one or two or three basis points here and there, yes. 20, 25 pesa, yes. More than that, I think is difficult given that there are lack of natural investors. So do you think a government should uh, you know, uh, put a mandate? There could be some steps that should be taken to popularize the green bonds. Well, uh, I mean... Uh, um, I am not a proponent of, uh, uh, you know, a directive directing the market. Let the market decide uh, where the current uh, correct prices should be. Uh, yes, some incentives can be given. Maybe uh, uh, SLR multiplier or a LCR multiplier. Alternatively, I mean, uh, you can again penalize the savers uh, and a portion of uh, category one. 
PF investment can be dedicated only to green bonds, then automatically you will get a premium. But that is penalizing the savers. Somewhere, you know, it has to come from somewhere, right? A lower right. income has to come from somewhere, right? So right. I think uh, uh, most probably an economic incentive rather than a direction uh, would be a better way to go to get a premium. And finally, sir, on the index inclusion, uh, what kind of inflows do you expect in the run-up to the actual in, uh, inclusion when it happens? Well, that's a good question. I mean, there's a crowding in effect. Obviously, the passive rise will come in starting June. Uh, uh -huh. when the, you know, 1% kicks in, 1% a month kicks in uh, June of 24. Uh, before that, uh, obviously, uh, there will be some active guys front-running the passive guys. So I do see some flows, but generally speaking, uh, Indian uh, uh, government bonds market have not been of uh, great interest to uh, foreign investors because yields are uh, uh, risk-adjusted yields. Let's uh, put it this way: are relatively low, uh, and uh, on a fully held basis, it has never made sense. I still see yes, there will be some front running which will happen, but I suspect it will be modest. And uh, having said that, anyways, right now we are in a, a sweet spot, like you mentioned earlier, when we discussed earlier that uh, H2 borrowing program, uh, anyways, is limited, uh, supply is limited, and uh, we are at uh, a cusp of, uh, uh, you know, uh, inflation trending down. Uh, hopefully, uh, some point of time in this quarter, if uh, uh, liquidity will be reinstated and we will go back into the range of uh, fixings, we will go back uh, near about the repo rate. Right. So that will give, a, give the impetus to the market to anyways, uh, uh, you know, uh, buy a uh, lot of stuff, a uh, lot of this supply. There is a lot of discussion about passive buys. So generally, the funds which track the index is about, uh, currently is 210 billion. Our weight of 10% is 21 billion uh, in this index, right? So what it depends upon obviously what will be the AUM come June 24. Uh, so that can be more or less. Right. So roughly anywhere between 20 and uh, higher is the number. And now there is a little discussion which is happening that some of the funds tracking are uh, not passive, they are active trackers. So then the number can vary up or down. So I see uh, a number anywhere between 18 to uh, 20 to 23, depending upon what the AUM is, uh, come June 24. On that note, Mr. Goel, uh, thank you so much for speaking to Business Standard. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for having me on the show. It was interesting. Uh, and good luck and thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that led success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.